yesterday's <coughs> budget is a flawed document. It doesn't go far enough to protect Canadians who have lost or will lose their jobs. It extends EI benefits, but it fails to extend EI eligibility. It opens the door for a tax on pay equity for women. It provides no new childcare spaces. It does not seize on the wealth of opportunities in the green economy, and it imposes unilateral changes to equalization, which are already awakening controversy in Quebec and Newfoundland. It breaks promises to those provinces that were made only two years ago. It attaches strings to infrastructure dollars that may delay projects and actually delay job creation. It promises to sell government assets for cash, probably at bargain basement prices, without saying which assets and for how much. And it lacks a credible plan for getting us out of the $85 billion hole the government will dig us into over the next five years. But here is the point. The budget also contains important concessions concessions forced on Stephen Harper by the determined action of a united opposition. If the stimulus contained in this budget has any hope of helping Canadians, it actually has to reach them. But this is a government more inclined to make commitments than to keep them. And so this afternoon, I will move to amend the budget motion to include new measures to ensure the government is held accountable for its promises. We are putting this government on probation. Accountability is something that Stephen Harper always says is important, and I agree with him. But this budget didn't <coughs> include a single word about accountability. We will require reports to Parliament on the budget's implementation and its cost, one in March, one in June, one in December. Each of these reports Notice this. Each of these reports will be an opportunity to withdraw our confidence should the government fail Canadians. We will vigilantly monitor its effects on our economy and every region of our country. We will be watching like hawks to make sure that the investments Canadians need actually reach them. And should Mr. Harper fail to satisfy